Hi YouTube, it's Julianne, a very, very pregnant Julianne. Um, I'm just giving an update. Today is May 7th. Um, and I had a doctor's appointment this morning, which was actually very eye-opening. <laughs> um, today is my mother-in-law's birthday. And, um, let's see, my father-in-law and other mother-in-law's anniversary. Um, oh my gosh, this month of May is crazy. My husband's birthday was on Saturday, and then my father-in-law's birthday was last, the Friday before. I don't know. It's been a really long, crazy weekend of socializing and birthday partying and celebrating and I don't know why socializing takes so much out of you because really all I do is sit around but I had some good laughs this weekend man and probably burned some calories but obviously not enough since um, I weighed in at 216 this morning <laughs> at the doctor so um, I think that's let's see that's ooh. That's like six pounds in two weeks. So I gained like three pounds a week. Yeah. So I've obviously been eating enough. Um, and it was good because um, they did take my, they did check my blood sugar again. Uh, can't talk. They took my blood sugar again because um, my other two glucose screening things were kind of iffy. Um, and it came out really good today, so I don't need to worry about that. Baby Brooklyn is just fine. Why does my computer keep doing that? I don't know. Um, and, oh, but I'm so, 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 so excited. The do uh, my doctor measured me today, and it's funny because she doesn't act surprised right away when she takes my measurements. It takes her a couple minutes, and then, and then she kind of comes out, and she's like, well, you're, you're, Brooklyn's measuring uh, a little bit ahead of schedule. I mean, it's the same every time I go in. Like, I know she's really big. <laughs> um, but she actually took me through and showed me, like, I had had the gender ultrasound back at, like, 22 weeks. And, um, and I never got to see any results from it, which was really weird. Um, and no one ever told me anything bad, so I just figured everything looked good. But she showed me all the results, and everything does look good. Like, um, all of her development and, like, her heart and brain and everything else was really good. But what they didn't tell me was if she was measuring so far ahead of schedule, even then, at 22 weeks, that they put my predicted due date at June 11th or 12th. It was either June 11th or 12th, which right now my due date is June 28th. So June 28th and June 11th are fairly different to me anyways. Um, so yeah, if that is the case, um, cause my doctor said, uh, okay, but what I'm, I'm getting off track. I really need to start writing things down. Um, my doctor said, though, that she wants to do another ultrasound, and I'm so excited because I had asked about getting another ultrasound um, a while back to one of the nurses, and they said, well, they don't normally do a third ultrasound in your third trimester unless you really need one for certain reasons or something. Well, my doctor's like, we need to check on the size of this baby <laughs> and... Um, kind of see what we're dealing with and where we're at. So she ordered another ultrasound and I'm so excited because I want to see her so bad. And I mean, I know it's only like seven weeks until I meet her for real, but I'm sure all you other mothers-to-be can kind of know what I'm going through. Um, so yeah, so we scheduled that. Unfortunately, I still have to wait two weeks for that ultrasound but two weeks is better than seven weeks <laughs> so yeah um anything else exciting oh I'll show you what my dad helped me with um I had this mirror 
that um, we got at a rummage sale and it was just an old kind of ugly mirror but it had a, a cool design on the frame and I wanted to paint it and um, but in order to do that obviously I had to take the mirror out and then paint the frame and then put the mirror back in and it's really heavy in fact you this should have seen my excuse me my husband trying to put it up on the wall that was funny okay so I'm gonna show you the mirror um can you see it there's the mirror and I put a little owl decals in the corner and I think it looks really good like above her her dresser and stuff and it'll just be something really nice um, to you know like hold her and let her see herself in the mirror and all that stuff so um, I'm officially 32 weeks and five days yes 32 weeks and five days and I know the stripes don't help at all um, hiding this belly but I figure at this point there's no hiding it <laughs> so I'll show you my belly um, in fact I think the stripes kind of accentuate it but woo, look at that <laughs> and this is the front Oh, yes, she's a big girl. And I'm not even close to dropping. Um, she's still really, really high up. But um, I can tell she's struggling for room in there um, because her, she's not moving the same. Uh, she might be head down right now, though, because I, for the first time I've been feeling like kicks up in my ribs like before I would feel just pressure kind of up here but um, I think in the middle of the night now I'm starting to feel actual kicks and jabs on my ribs so um, I'm sure she's still kind of changing positions and stuff in there though whoo out of breath again but um so yeah I am pooped today even I after my doctor's appointment I went and just kind of visited with my brother and we watched a movie and came home now and decided to do this little update video and then I'm going to try and tidy up a little bit and maybe just chill the rest of this evening because I'm just uh, yeah <laughs> but so I'm super excited about the ultrasound and um, otherwise um, everything was good her heart rate was like 160 something this morning so, and, um, some of you might think this is funny. Another reason I'm really excited for the ultrasound is, like, I keep having nightmares that she comes out a boy. And, yeah, I don't know. I mean, not that I, w I would love a son, too, but I don't want him wearing pink. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm also excited because my husband is done with his second job for good. So now at 3 o'clock every day, he's home and yeah. So, okay, I don't think there's much of anything else. But um, if you have questions or just want to leave a comment or um, any words of encouragement, much appreciated. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you guys later.